All right, so some changes to the front. We got some bigger frame stands. So we got some 10 tonners because the other frame stand started bending and I didn't want to get under the truck. So now we can actually start tearing this thing apart. So I'm probably gonna do a little time lapse of me tearing the rear end apart and getting ready to drop that rear axle. So enjoy. All right, I did a wardrobe change because it was it was hot out and I was right in the freaking sun. But um, so the drive shaft is out. All everything is disconnected underneath. The brake line is disconnected. The sensor is disconnected. Breather line is disconnected. Shocks are out for the rear. So then next I got to start tearing apart the front, doing the same exact shit. But I don't know if you guys are gonna have this issue, but I did. So I took the brake line out and it was piston fluid and I couldn't get it to stop for the life of me. And I was like, well, I grabbed this, uh, oh, I can't, you can't even see it. This brake line off of a, um, the front axle that's in the garage off the Dana 60, cut these off the old calipers because I'm not gonna use them. And then I cut the end of the brake line off because I'm gonna replace this hard line, get a new hard line, and drilled it out the brake line and then shoved it over top, zip tied it, put a bolt in the, in the end, and that stopped it from leaking. So if you have that issue, do that. It seems to work. But um, I didn't do the time lapse because my gimbal started acting up it wouldn't freaking work right so hopefully i'll get a time lapse on the front when i get it fixed but i'm going to do this one tomorrow so this axle is ready to be dropped now and i will do a video of us dropping the axle off. so basically what we're going to do is those jack stands are going to go up underneath it's going to hold it in place run the uh, u-bolts out and then slowly get a couple buddies slowly drop this axle to the ground with a jack Put something over the pinion to keep it from rolling so that should be pretty fun get this rear end out and then we can knock the freaking out the new one under and do all that but i'm gonna i want to get both axles out first and then cradle should be coming back tomorrow so shit's happening getting excited so i might i might actually start tearing this one in um also Take your shocks out before you uh, lower your end, your axle all the way down. I didn't do that. And I realized that these shocks are actually right now holding up the axle this high. Because that axle dropped significantly lower. So I would disconnect them. So I'm going to have to raise this side, pull these shocks out, drop it, do the same other side. And it'll just be a lot easier. So I'm going to do that. I could probably pull this thing out. Beep. Done. Breather's done. So... All right, well, all right. It is a beautiful Saturday morning and it's a big day. Axles are all completely ready to come out. Obviously, you know, the rear's ready, so it's a big day. We're pulling these things out. I got a couple buddies coming over and we're gonna pull it out and I'm gonna get a time-lapse of us pulling them out. So should be pretty fun i think i might have a guy coming today to buy the axles so we'll see but for now enjoy the time lapse <laughs>
right, so both axles are now out. Man, was that kind of a pain in the butt. So the U-bolts did not unthread, so we couldn't unbolt them. We were able to save two of them. The rest of them, we had to cut them, which sucks. So I told the guy who's buying the lift kit, like, you're going to buy U-bolts. But there is now no springs and no axles under the truck. And it, it looks it looks pretty cool. Spaceship mode now. So basically what's left of that I got to take out is I got to take off these these bolts, these hangers. I got to take this out still. The pitman arms got to come out. And then I got to take, I'm going to cut this whole bracket off the frame. Man, that's hard to fucking move. I got to take this whole bracket off the frame. And then for this one, because it's also holding my cross member on, I'm just going to cut it like right here. Just cut it off. Just, I don't feel like fucking with the cross member. So it's not a big deal. But other than that, there is nothing under the truck. Next thing is to start getting there, everything mocked up. Cradles should have came back from Powder Coat, but they're not done. So I'm hoping they'll be done like Tuesday or Wednesday this week. So that way we can start actually mocking stuff up. But other than that, I am done for the day because it was a motherfucker to get it out. I'm gonna finish cleaning this stuff up and I'm gonna wash the concrete pad off, get all the dirt off so that way when we're under here, we're not rolling around in more dirt but yep now i'm just left with a bunch of junk so still looking for, for a buyer for these axles so you get them how they look except for the wheels and tires so no wheels and tires so feel free to freaking message me like i said all this stuff is new i would probably get a new steering linkage if i were you because that is blown the heck out but everything else is good so other than that, this is it for this video. So, thank you guys.